chaotic scene in downtown St. Paul. It involves a shootout between two vehicles, a high-speed police pursuit, and it ended with a car careening into a restaurant. There's a lot that unfolded there this afternoon. So let's go straight to Maury Glover, who's live from where this all ended. And Maury, they're still cleaning up behind you, I see. That's right. We are in Lower Town, about a block from CHS Field. And as you can see, there are crews here still cleaning up, warding up the windows from when an SUV ran into a popular bar. You don't see car crashes like this that often down here, and it is startling. And again, I'm just, I feel bad for the business and the people that live around here. St. Paul police said this all started around 4.30 Wednesday afternoon when they got a report of people in two cars, including a black Jeep, shooting at each other in the 300 block of Luella Street North. Police caught up to the Jeep with its back window broken out a few blocks away on Minnehaha Avenue. Police say officers pursued the vehicle onto I-94 at speeds up to 90 miles an hour until the Jeep got off on the downtown St. Paul exit where officers terminated the chase. Investigators say the Jeep then hit another car near 6th and Wall Street and ran into the Oxcart Ale House, which police believe was closed at the time. Investigators say none of the people in the Jeep or in the passenger car were injured. But officers did find a Glock handgun inside the Jeep, which had a switch that would allow it to be fired as an automatic weapon. Seems like a pretty random thing, and the cops were doing their job, and so hopefully nobody got hurt, and the business can rally and get back, get open soon. Now, police say three people in that Jeep, two 18-year-old and one 17-year-old male, were all taken into custody. Police also say that Jeep was stolen from St. Paul. Reporting live in downtown St. Paul, Maury Glover, Fox 9.